Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have In a particular scene of a science fiction movie, a UFO is flying horizontally at a very high altitude with a speed u that is eta times of speed c of light. Okay, and eta is less than 1. The UFO is emitting sharp light pulses at regular and very small intervals. Find the speed of the UFO recorded by an observer on the ground at point O when the UFO appears at an angle theta with the vertical. Ignore relativistic corrections and uh, definition of UFO is given in this line. Right? So let us analyze the question. So let us consider at any time t. Now when I say t, t means the time recorded by the observer standing on the UFO right and as in the question they have said that the distance between the UFO and the observer is too large consider some uh, one or two light years something like that right so the information will take some time to travel to the observer's eyes okay uh, that means it will not be instantaneous right because the information will travel at the speed of light and as the distance is about light years away so of course it will there will be a delay of information right so t will be the time registered by the clock in the ufo and t prime will be the time registered by the observer standing at this point o right so in reality when the ufo travels from this point to this point in time dt where dt is the time taken to travel from here to here. dt is measured with respect to the observer standing in the UFO. But uh, of course, there will be a time delay of dt prime, right? When the observer, when this observer is measuring the movement of the UFO. So the speed measured by this observer of this UFO, please remember there will be no relativistic corrections we need to ignore those corrections that means no special theory of relativity formulas will be used right so this observer is watching this ufo when the ufo travels from here to here the ufo measures that dt time has been elapsed right but this observer does not measure dt it measures something greater than dt because the time taken by the ufo from here to here and this information travels here at a lag of dt prime so this whole situation will be observed by this observer at a time interval of dt plus dt prime right okay so the speed measured by this observer of the ufo is the distance traveled that is u dt that is the real distance traveled divided by the total time registered in the clock of the observer o that is dt plus dt prime Okay, so dividing numerator and denominator with dt, we get this one. Now, t prime is the time recorded by the observer O. So, the time taken by the information to travel from this point to this point would be d sec theta divided by the information travels with the speed of light. So, d sec theta divided by c, right? Differentiating with respect to t, okay, we get this one so d theta dt is the angular velocity with the time frame of the ufo right so how do we calculate angular velocity as you can see from this triangle x by d equals to tan theta so x equals d tan theta differentiating both sides with respect to t we get dx dt that is the change rate of change of x that is u equals to d sec square theta d theta dt that is the angular velocity. Now just put the angular velocity from here in this equation. Solving it, we get eta sin theta, right? So just put the value of dt prime by dt, that is eta sin theta, in this expression, right? So the final expression for the speed of the UFO observed by the observer standing at the origin or O will be this one, right? Okay, 
so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do subscribe if you like the video give a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one peace